Is it still worth becoming a web developer in 2024? This is the burning question on everyone's mind, especially after the recent tech industry shakeups. I'm going to tell you why the answer is still a firm yes, despite the layoffs and the rise of AI and even providing insights that might just blow your mind. It just goes boom, up like that. You see, discussions are everywhere on Quora, Reddit, Twitter, you name it. Is coding still relevant? Is the market too saturated? Despite all the fears and layoffs, including my own recent tech layoff, the tech community's response is overwhelmingly positive. Everything will be okay. Number one, believe it or not, there's fewer competition than you might think. What do I mean by this? If you are thinking it might not be worth learning how to code anymore, how many more people do you think in this world are starting to think and believe the exact same thing? And now the question is how many of them will actually stop? As a matter of fact, when I started learning how to code seven years ago, and this is when jQuery was still kind of a thing, kind of, we're just starting to move into React.js, people then were telling me coding is not worth it. Shopify is here, Squarespace is here. Don't even try to become a front-end developer, but even now today, front-end developers are flourishing more than ever before in the tech industry. People are still going to say it now, today, in 2023, and even more because of the booming AI space and because so many tech layoffs. Now, as you know, I was recently laid off, but despite that, the amount of companies I've interviewed with added me on LinkedIn two weeks after not responding to them, asking if I was still interested. What does that mean? There's still a demand out there. As a matter of fact, I'm doing another interview and I'm hopefully, this is a job that I really, really want, will receive a job offer next week, as I was told in an email. There are jobs out there. Now, I do have seven years of experience and that does help. Then what about junior developers? I have to be honest, it's harder. It really is. It is much harder out there for junior developers. Just go into LinkedIn, just go into Indeed, just go into Google and see how many junior developer roles are out there. It's a much more difficult fight. That's why I made this video about how you can stand out and get ahead of 99% of web developers out there in this year alone and next year as well, right? So check it out, I'll put a link in the description below. It's not easy. Because it's not easy, how many more people will give up? And the question is, will you be the one person that doesn't give up and gets in when everyone else runs away? Now, while considering the future of web development in 2024, there's one aspect we shouldn't overlook, which is reliable hosting. Enter High Velocity. Their experience spans 21 plus years, offering global VPS and dedicated server hosting that's both robust and reliable. With a fast network, flexible scalability, and a variety of operating systems, they're a top choice for developers today. Plus, there's a bonus, no sneaky fees or binding contracts. Now, here's something special for you. Use ChrisSean1 at the link in the description below and grab one month free of VPS hosting. And gear up with high velocity for your next project. AI, it's huge. Everyone's heard of it. From your mom, to your dad, to your child, to your kid, to your uncle, to your grandma, to your grandfather. Everyone has heard of AI today. But I wanna tell you this, AI is an ally, not our enemy, at least for developers. What do I mean by this? Let me explain. I am not worried about AI. Now, will AI replace jobs? Yes. I generally believe that AI will replace people at call centers. I generally believe that AI will allow people to replace, not people, but bots to replace truck drivers, right? You name it, here and there. But will it fully replace software engineers? I don't see that happening anytime soon. As a matter of fact, I think AI is making our jobs easier than ever. This job that I mentioned to y'all, I was interviewing for an AI company. I had to learn about these AI techniques, languages, frameworks that I knew nothing about. And what helped me understand something in a matter of one night compared to when it should have taken me one week to understand, maybe two weeks, chat GPT. It got to the point where one of the managers that was interviewing me asked, Chris, how much experience do you have in AI? I said, none. And he said, Chris, that's one of the best explanations I've ever received from someone who doesn't have any experience in AI. And why is this? Why was I able to do that? Not because I'm amazing, I'm not at all whatsoever, but AI helped me learn something much faster than I probably would have done on my own by using Google, Stack Overflow, reading books, it takes so much longer, right? 
So AI is here to actually help us. I genuinely believe that when it comes to artificial intelligence and when it comes to coding, AI will help us be much more efficient at our jobs, will allow us to learn new te technologies much more quickly, will allow us to problem solve much more quickly. I mean, for instance, the fact that developers are able to use AI to expedite how we write software, testing, debugging, you name it, is unheard of. Who wouldn't have wished that this existed 10 years ago to make our jobs easier? Now, last but not least, I wanna talk about something a little bit more personal. Okay, my last point is that coding is more than just a job. And to be quite frank, it's more than just coding. Through coding, you unlock a realm of critical thinking and creativity, enhancing your ability to problem solve and opening a new world of opportunities for you down the line as you elevate in your career in tech. This will be difficult. This will be hard, especially in this economy. So that is why I, I, I want to tell you and highly suggest to you that you try to turn coding into a hobby. Yes, you might have to work three jobs a week to survive. You might have to work 100 hours a week to survive. And yes, you're coding so that you can have an easier time surviving in this difficult world. But if you're able to change that mindset where you, you are coding for fun, but don't rush it. Take your time. Make sure you learn code the right way. Build things. Don't just use tutorials nonstop, but build things. It will be much easier for you. Now, if y'all made it to the very end, I got something special for y'all, all right? In the link in the description below, I'll provide y'all with a cheat sheet to JavaScript. And what kind of cheat sheet? It's a cheat sheet of, of common questions that you will receive during your job interview for your first junior developer job, or maybe a second one. But make sure y'all check it out in the description below, and I hope y'all enjoyed this. Anyway, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.